Astronomers have found a rogue black hole wandering in our neighborhood for the first time. This black hole is a runaway stellar mass black hole zipping through the Milky Way at 45 kilometers per second. So what makes this discovery a big deal? And does that black hole pose any threat to our solar system? According to our best estimates, the Milky Way contains 100 billion to 400 billion stars. These include stars at different stages of evolution. Hence, our galaxy should be littered with black holes. Our stellar evolution models predict that there should be as many as 10 million to 1 billion stellar mass black holes out there. As also explained in our Basics of Astrophysics series, the link to which is given in the description, Stellar mass black holes are the ones that form when a massive star reaches the end of its life. They have masses ranging from about five to several tens of solar masses. So, although theory predicts a plethora of such black holes, finding them isn't straightforward. So far, we have only discovered stellar mass black holes in binary systems, often paired up with neutron stars. Black holes are easier to detect in binary systems because their interactions with their partners can generate light or gravitational waves whose properties signal a black hole's presence. In contrast, isolated black holes lack such partners to help reveal their existence. But now, with the help of the iconic Hubble Space Telescope, astronomers have found the first free-floating stellar mass black hole. This discovery was made using a technique called gravitational microlensing. Gravitational microlensing is an observational effect predicted in 1936 by Einstein using his general theory of relativity. When one star in the sky appears to pass nearly in front of another, the light rays of the background source star become bent due to the gravitational attraction of the foreground star. Thanks to its gravity, a black hole warps and twists any light that might travel through it. So when something magnifies the light of a distant star, making it glow strangely bright, astronomers know there is probably a gravitational field of a white dwarf, a neutron star, or a black hole, and so on. Astronomers detect about 2,000 microlensing events in one year, and some of them are caused by black holes. But how do we know the difference? How can we say the foreground object is indeed a black hole? Well, there are two essential things that astronomers notice. First, since a black hole is more massive than a neutron star and a white dwarf, its gravitational lensing event is expected to be the longest. Also, when gravitational lensing seems to be occurring because of an invisible object, it's another clue that the object in the foreground is a black hole. Astronomers combined the data from the Hubble Space Telescope and ground-based telescopes and found that the lensing event lasted 270 days. This lensing event is likely a sign of a rogue black hole. It took two years of planning, followed by six years of observing with Hubble, to discover the first free-floating black hole in our galaxy. The team also took measurements of this rogue black hole. They found that the black hole has a mass of 7.1 times that of the Sun. Hence, its event horizon, or the point of no return, is just 42 kilometers across. This black hole lies in our galactic neighborhood, 5,000 light years away. This means that scientists could detect an invisible object less than the tenth of the Grand Canyon from over 48 quadrillion kilometers by studying the changing light of a more distant star. Now that's something truly incredible. The researchers also calculated how fast this black hole is moving, and the answer surprised them. The rogue black hole is moving at 45 kilometers per second, much faster than the stars in its vicinity, which means it's a runaway black hole. Hence, it was probably ejected into space when its precursor star exploded in a supernova. The event probably took place 100 million years ago. But it's difficult to know for sure as there is no clear, traceable path to where the black hole came from. 
Also, if the black hole is passing through a dense region of interstellar medium, it is possible that it's accreting matter on its way. This can be confirmed via X-ray observations. If those observations do point out at possible ongoing accretion, it would further be strong evidence in favor that the object is indeed a runaway black hole and help us know more about its properties. Scientists believe there could be millions of runaway black holes in our galaxy. The Verici Rubin Observatory in Chile, which is scheduled to begin a 10-year survey of the night sky next year, is also expected to discover new rogue black holes. As is NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, set to launch in 2027. So surely, some exciting discoveries are on their way. Every Sunday, make sure to visit our channel for a new video in our Discovery series. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any new uploads.